Hey everybody, so in this video I want to show you how to have two home screens on your Galaxy Z Fold 3. So you are going to need a foldable for this tutorial, but if you just enjoy watching cool tech stuff, <laughs> watch the whole video. So on this home screen on the main page, I actually have here one UI, alright? So when I close my device, and let's say I'm putting my phone out of my pocket, I now have Niagara Launcher, and I like this because it's very easy to use one-handed. But whenever I open my device, let's say, okay, my phone's in my pocket, I go ahead and crack it open, and I wanna do something here. As you see, it's gonna automatically jump right back to One UI here. So this video is gonna show you exactly how to get this set up. This will work with any two launchers that you wanna use. I'm gonna, I like using One UI on my main display, but just for one-handed use, whenever I put my phone on my pocket to just do something quickly with, I actually really like having Niagara here on the cover display. So this tutorial is gonna show you how to get this done. Okay, so to get started, the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is open up the Galaxy Store. So mine's is set to here. And then from here, we're gonna search for Good Lock. Okay, it should pop up for you right there. Now, once you have this open, um, or rather, once you actually see it pop up, go ahead and tap on it. And if you don't have it installed yet, go ahead and install it. And then once you have it installed, you can come back here. Okay, so just go ahead and press open. And now let's go ahead and scroll down until we get to Routines Plus. Now, if you don't have this installed just yet, go ahead and again, you can either press the little arrow here and it should take you right here where you can install it. And once you have this installed, let's go ahead and head back into the Good Lock application. And Routines Plus is just giving you, just like it says, it's just giving you extra features for Bixby Routines. And what this is going to let us do is just um, automatically run certain macros, okay? If you're not familiar with the word macro, um, it's just pretty much saving a set of rules for the software to follow. And so I used to use it a whole lot in Excel but I'm glad to see that Samsung actually added this here. So we're gonna actually be creating touch macros. So once you have Routines Plus installed, there's a couple ways to go ahead and get to uh, Bixby Routines. Of course, you can either go home and search for it, or if you touch these three dots here while you have Routines Plus open, and then you actually go to About Routines Plus, whoops, nope, go to Tips, you can just go here to uh, Bixby Routines. So now that we have Bixby Routines open, we're gonna go ahead and create um, some touch macros. If you're not familiar with these ones that I have here, I put a card up here so you can look at how to do these different cool stuff that we did before in a previous video. But for this one here, we're gonna go ahead and go to Add Routine. And we're, what we're gonna need is an actual trigger, and then we're gonna need um, a response here. So what's gonna happen? So the first thing we're gonna do is hit this plus, and then on your folding phone here, you should have something called folding status. So go ahead and tap that. And um, we're gonna go ahead and go to um, completely closed, and then hit done. Now at this point, if you have not yet picked the two home screen launchers that you wanna use, so this of course is one UI, we're all used to this. But the second home screen that I'm going to be using is actually called Niagara. So I'll just show you what it looks like here. Okay, so you can actually go and download Niagara. It's really nice and simple to use. I enjoy using it. But you can use whatever launcher that you want to use. I'm just going to be using Niagara Launcher. So go ahead and make sure that you have that second launcher installed already on your phone from the Play Store or sideload it wherever you got it from. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in here. So since you have um, Routines Plus now, good luck. You already have one UI if that's the one you're gonna be using. But if you have two different launchers that you're gonna to wanna to be using, it's gonna be the same exact setup. So I have Niagara Launcher already installed here. So now when I go to then, I'm gonna go ahead and pick Routines Plus, and then I'm gonna press on Touch Macro. Now I was, of course, already had this pre-installed, but I'm gonna delete this since we're doing this whole thing here together. Okay, now I'm gonna to go to add, and then I'm gonna actually search for Niagara, if I don't see it already. And for me, it's right there. My icon is white because of the um, 
app icons that I have. And so um, once that's done, just hit record. You can just kind of like touch anywhere you want to. And then just hit stop. And then make sure that you press hide, okay? Because if you don't, then you're gonna see these little marks pop up. And every once in a while, I'll still see these, but for the most part, I don't see them. So if you do see it pop up, I think it's just a little bug that they actually need to fix inside of the application, but still. Let's just go ahead and hit hide, and then we're gonna hit save. And I'm gonna call this Niagara. Uh, I'm gonna save it, and there's the first one. Now the second macro that, well, let me go ahead and just finish this one. So touch Niagara macro and then hit done. And now what we have now is if the folding status is completely closed, then I want you to um, launch Niagara macro that we just made. Hit next. And then for folding status, I'm gonna just name this one folding status Niagara. And that's good enough for me. So there's the first one. Let's also go ahead and set the second one. Um, so we're gonna go back to add routine. We're gonna go to the plus here for if. Scroll down until you see folding status. And for this one, I want, um, I want, this is gonna be if the device is completely open. So on the main screen, I'm gonna to want to use one UI personally. So I'm gonna keep it as completely open and then I'm gonna hit done. And then for the then, I'm gonna plus here, go to routines plus, and then I'm gonna to go to touch macro. And we just made that one, so now it's time to add a second one. So press add, and One UI is already here. So just touch One UI home, press next. And from here, I just like to press record, kind of swipe up to go home, press stop, and that's it. I'll just hit save. I actually didn't see the marks that time, so. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm just playing around with this button here. See if it says, uh, if you see this, that's what you'll see when you run the macro. But remember to press um, hide here. After that, press save. And I'm just gonna name this one the one UI. And then I'm gonna hit save. And so which macro do I want it to run whenever the device is completely open? It's one UI. This is the launcher that I want to be available to me once I open, once I unfold my device. So we already have this setup completely unfolded. Go ahead and open up one UI for me and then press next. And you can name this whatever you want. I'm just going to um, name this one UI at the end of here and press done. So now let's test it out. So now whenever your device is actually locked and you open up, okay, my Niagara is working. Let's say my device is in my pocket. Oh, I wanna check something on the main screen here. Go ahead and crack it open. And as you can see, it just jumped me back. Now, you notice just then it does that. It doesn't always do that, but I do think that they're gonna need to update that to make sure that it stays hidden because I've kind of played around with it both times, pressing the show and the hide, and unless I'm getting it backwards, <laughs> it sometimes will still show it. But yeah, this is gonna be what you do. Now, I will say, um, if you're not gonna use One UI, something to keep in mind that I've kind of noticed. And if you know more about this, go ahead and make sure in the comment section that you tell us, cause I'm kind of learning as I go here. So I love this setup, but one thing that I have noticed is, let's say you want to use Nova Launcher on your main screen, and then you want to use a, sec a second different one here on your cover screen. Make sure inside of your settings, um, you can just actually search up here and just search for default maybe if you want to, and choose default apps and then go up here to choose default apps again. And for the home app, make sure that whatever you want on your home screen is set to um, that launcher. So since I wanted One UI Home on my home screen here on the main display of this phone, I have my default home set to this. And so that way, whenever I actually swipe up, if I wanna get back to my real home screen uh, launcher, then it's gonna be my One UI. When I close it, yes, it is giving me Niagara so that I can quickly do whatever I want. And it's fully functional and works. But I normally just press back naturally anyway. But of course, everything works on this launcher. But if I wanted to go back to One UI, I could always just press up here and actually go back to my One UI um, launcher. That macro is running on top of 
what your device is already supposed to be doing. So of course, One UI is my default launcher. It's naturally supposed to launch One UI. But with that macro that I set to run on top, it's going to recognize that, but it's gonna say, well, he also said that he wanted you to go ahead and have Niagara on this front cover screen whenever it's closed. So this is something really cool to play around with, of course. There's so many things that you can do with the Bixby Routines Plus. This is just something that I figured out while messing around with it. It's probably old news to all of you full two and one um, owners, <laughs> but for me, it's kind of new. So I thought this was pretty cool. Again, you can actually have two launchers um, on your Odin device. You don't have to lock it. I just like doing it. I think it looks cool to just kind of lock it, unfold, and then boom, it's kind of loading up your second one here. But yeah, it's fully functional. Hope that you all enjoyed this video. If it was helpful, make sure you drop a like in the comments. I definitely plan on doing more Routine Plus videos because with the touch macros, sky's the limit on all the stuff that you can actually do right here on your Galaxy. The Z Fold 3 is awesome. <laughs> so yeah, experiment, have fun. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.